For millennia humans have looked up at the night sky seeing stories, calendars and maps in the stars. Our ancestors navigated oceans and marked seasons by the heavens, but our view was limited to what our eyes could see. The universe's secrets remained hidden, until the telescope. Galileo's simple tube of lenses revealed the moon's craters, Jupiter's moons and the true nature of the Milky Way. Each new telescope from ground-based giants to Hubble, peeled back more of the cosmic mystery. Yet even Hubble left us in the dark, unable to see the universe's earliest light. Much of the cosmos glows in infrared, light invisible to our eyes carrying the stories of the oldest most distant objects. To see the first stars and galaxies, we needed a new kind of eye, the James Webb Space Telescope. JWS is a paradigm shift, not just an upgrade, a golden honeycombed marvel built to see the universe's infancy. It's the result of decades of ingenuity, designed to answer our deepest questions. Where did we come from? How did the universe begin? With JWS we're not just looking at the sky, we're looking back in time, witnessing the universe's first chapters. The storybook of the cosmos has just had its earliest pages opened. Our golden eye in the sky is finally revealing what was once hidden. The journey to understand our origins has truly begun. What makes JWS extraordinary? It's engineered to conquer distance, temperature and light. Unlike Hubble, JWS orbits nearly a million miles from Earth at the L2 point, a gravitational sweet spot that keeps it stable and shielded from the Sun, Earth and Moon. Its iconic mirror, 21 feet wide, made of 18 gold-coated beryllium segments, collects faint, ancient infrared light. Gold reflects infrared superbly. Beryllium is strong, light and stable in extreme cold. But to see an infrared, JWST must stay colder than any place on Earth. Its five-layer sunshield, the size of a tennis court, blocks heat and keeps the telescope at minus 370 degrees Fahrenheit. If JWS were warm, its own heat would drown out the faint signals from the early universe. These three innovations, distant orbit, giant golden mirror and revolutionary sunshield, make JWS the most powerful infrared observatory ever built. Hubble showed us the visible universe. JWST opens a new window onto the hidden infrared cosmos. Now we can see the birthplaces of stars, the atmospheres of distant worlds, and the universe's first light. JWST is not just a telescope, it's a machine built to reveal the invisible. Its engineering is the foundation for discoveries that are rewriting our understanding of the cosmos. With JWST we're finally equipped to hear the universe's faintest whispers. The revolution in infrared astronomy has begun. Looking into space is looking back in time light from distant stars takes years, even billions, to reach us. JWS is designed to push this time machine to its limit peering back to the universe's cosmic dawn, when the first stars and galaxies formed. But the universe is expanding, stretching ancient light into the infrared a phenomenon called redshift. That's why JWST is an infrared telescope, only it can see the redshifted glow of the earliest galaxies. Hubble and our eyes are blind to this ancient era JWST's sensitive detectors capture the faint, stretched light from the dawn of time. Each deep field image is a window across billions of years every smudge is a galaxy, some among the oldest ever seen. We're witnessing the universe as a toddler, less than 3% of its current age. JWST isn't just a telescope, it's a time machine revealing the first sparks of cosmic history. For the first time, we're seeing the universe's opening act. The light from the first stars is finally within our reach. JWS lets us read the first page of a story we've only glimpsed from the middle. The cosmic dawn is no longer a mystery. We are watching the universe light up for the very first time. After the Big Bang, the universe entered the cosmic dark ages, no stars, no galaxies, just a fog of hydrogen. Gravity eventually sparked the first stars whose intense light began to ionize the hydrogen clearing the cosmic fog in an event called the Epic of Reionization. For years astronomers thought massive bright galaxies drove this transformation, but JWS revealed a surprise the early universe was filled with countless tiny faint dwarf galaxies. While each was weak together they produced enough light to ryanize the cosmos. It wasn't the giants but a swarm of cosmic fireflies that changed everything. This discovery rewrites our understanding. Reionization was a grassroots revolution, powered by the smallest galaxies. These little galaxies were more efficient at leaking ionizing radiation than their larger cousins. JWS sensitivity made this breakthrough possible, showing us the true architects of the transparent universe. The early universe's transformation was a collective effort, not the work of a few. 
To understand cosmic history we had to look at the smallest players. JWST has given us a new perspective on how light conquered darkness. The universe's grand awakening was led by the little guys. To see the faintest, farthest galaxies, astronomers use a cosmic, trick gravitational lensing. Massive galaxy clusters warp spacetime, bending and magnifying light from even more distant galaxies behind them. This natural magnification, predicted by Einstein, lets JWST see objects that would otherwise be invisible. By targeting these clusters, JWST captures both the lensing cluster and the magnified galaxies beyond. This technique has revealed some of the most distant galaxies ever observed, building blocks of everything that followed. Gravitational lensing combined with JWST's infrared vision pushes our view deeper than ever before. We're now glimpsing the universe's first light, once thought forever out of reach. In its infancy the universe was a hot, opaque plasma light couldn't travel freely. As it cooled, atoms formed and the cosmos became transparent but remained dark for millions of years. The first stars and galaxies ended this darkness, their radiation igniting the epoch of reionization. This process carved out transparent bubbles in the hydrogen fog merging to clear the universe. Before JWS we could only infer this transformation. Now we can observe it directly. JWS has captured galaxies in the act of burning away the cosmic fog, confirming reionization was gradual and patchy. We're witnessing the universe's grand awakening as it steps from darkness into light. For the first time we're reading a chapter of cosmic history that was once blank. JWS has turned inference into observation. The universe's transformation is now visible before our eyes. To truly understand the early universe we need more than snapshots, we need a census. The Cosmos Web Survey uses JWST to map a vast patch of sky creating the deepest widest atlas of the early cosmos. By surveying hundreds of thousands of galaxies it reveals how they cluster, evolve and form the cosmic web. Early results show a universe already crowded and structured, with bizarre galaxies challenging our theories. Cosmos Web's data is public, fueling discoveries for years to come. It's the statistical backbone of our cosmic history, turning isolated finds into a coherent story. With Cosmos Web, we're building the definitive atlas of our universe's youth. JWS isn't just a window to the past, it's a tool for exploring worlds beyond our solar system. By analyzing starlight filtered through exoplanet atmospheres, JWST detects water, methane and other potential biosignatures. For the first time, we're not just finding exoplanets, we're characterizing them, searching for clouds, weather and the building blocks of life. JWS sensitivity has already revealed new planets and unexpected diversity in distant solar systems. Each discovery adds to our understanding of how planets form and evolve. Every spectrum and image brings us closer to answering, are we alone? JWST inspires new questions, fueling our curiosity and wonder. Its greatest legacy may be the relentless joyful pursuit of knowledge.